Yana and James are now husband and wife. James, you may now kiss the bride. Two. This one, see, it's got two lines, just little line, and I went, I'm not sure, but you only had a little line, and then I did this one, it says, yes, there's a baby in your belly. <laughs> a baby. Already. In my belly. No, in mommy's, in here. You said there's a baby in my belly. In my belly. <laughs> yeah. Yay! But Guys, it is official, I am pregnant I have no idea when this happened I don't know when I ovulated but I'm assuming I'd be about two weeks but they count from your last period so I'd be four weeks along oh my god I'm so excited my hands are shaking this is literally the first time 
I've ovulated on the Clomid. This is crazy. Hi guys, hope you're well. Tiana here. Just a little update we today. We went for our um, confirmation of pregnancy scan. Um, uh, after our excitement of finding out we we're pregnant, we were super, super excited about going in today for an ultrasound. I have estimated just from my last period that I would be five weeks today. Um, so super early. Um, we actually went in and <laughs> he couldn't find um, a gestational sac. He couldn't find a baby. Um, yeah, I was really, really shocked and I didn't kind of expect to not see anything. He, um, said my lining was super, super thick, which is a good sign and that everything else on the ultrasound was sort of indicating, um, pregnancy. He just figured I was too early and my periods aren't the most, they aren't very regular at all. So, um, he thinks that maybe my dates might even be wrong. Um, so what he has done was he sent me for a HCG test today to check my, um, HCG level. I just, I'm not feeling good. Um, I've been feeling really sick. I've been feeling totally pregnant. My diet has completely changed back when I was, how I was pregnant with Noah, like, my food's just been, I have not wanted to eat and just like only veggies and only salad <laughs> is all I want to eat. Um, so yeah, um, and I didn't really, I was really worked up a little bit and I didn't really want to wait until tomorrow to talk to him. So in the meantime, I did get another pregnancy test. So pregnant two to three weeks, that's from conception. So if you didn't know when you get pregnant, um, they don't count it from your conception date. They actually count it from your last menstrual period because that's when the cells start um, developing. So um, yeah, that is, this has made me feel a lot more reassured because um, I have felt rubbish. I have felt totally pregnant. So I was really confused when I saw the scan today. I'm, me, my doctor and my husband are really just hoping that it is just too early. I'm trying to relax and take it easy. I haven't, I've actually had a cold as well as being pregnant sick. So, um, yeah, I'm not feeling the best right now. Um, so I'm just really trying to take it easy and rest because I know stress and overdoing it is really not going to help right now. It's going to be the worst thing for me. Yeah, so we just got our fingers crossed and yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next update. There's a lot to update you guys on. Um, did our HCG, which came back at 296, um, which is definitely pregnant and it's like a good number. It's within range, but it's definitely at the lower end of um, lower end of the normal uh, for what we assume I'm five weeks. Um, so he was a little bit worried about that and because I had said I'd had some cramping, he just said if the cramping got worse or um, I started to bleed to head to emergency. And then everything was fine. I wasn't too worried. I was a little bit like, like expecting my numbers to be higher. Um, and then Thursday or Wednesday night, started getting some really, really bad cramps. I woke up Thursday morning at about five o'clock in like really, really bad pain. And I said to James, I need to go to emergency. Um, I was really worried at this point. So um, we went in, this was two days after my scan. So my scan was on the Tuesday, this was the Thursday morning. Uh, so we went into emergency, they took it pretty seriously. They got me in straight away to be seen. Um, I had an ultrasound um, sort of within an hour. Um, at this stage, they didn't give me any pain relief. They just took a urine sample to confirm I was pregnant and did an ultrasound. The lady on the ultrasound was like, oh, you're tricky. Your whole <laughs> system down there is really tricky. Um, my left ovary is really hard to see. And I had a cyst on my right, which I knew. But she said the cyst hasn't burst. It's not um, It's not inflamed. It's not what, what's causing the pain. She actually couldn't find anything that was causing the pain. She couldn't find a topic. Um, she said at this stage, there's nothing to indicate a topic pregnancy. There's no free fluid. There's no swelling of the tubes. Um, obviously, just my pain. Um, 
So she really couldn't see anything. She also couldn't see the baby or the sac in the uterus, which she said she should be seeing at this stage. Um, so we kind of got worried, but going in, we just thought like we've lost the baby. Like that's just how we felt. She said I also could be earlier than what my dating scan said, which is also what my gynecologist said. I really think my dates are right, but um, my periods aren't the most accurate. So um, it could just be that my dates are wrong. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, basically then they found that I had a UTI, um, which was weird because I wasn't having any like stinging or like trouble peeing. I just said to them like I keep feeling like I need a pee and then nothing comes which I just thought was like me being pregnant and um, she said no it's probably the UTI which is causing a lot of your pain I didn't think it was that much like that that would cause that much pain I was in there I was on endone um, I was in a lot of pain so they actually ended up sending me home they did check my HCG again which was two days after it last got checked so generally in a healthy pregnancy it should be definitely increasing but if not like it should be doubling uh every 48 to 72 hours so it should have increased like quite a lot and it was it was literally like the same it was at 300 um so that's just not a good sign i asked them like does this mean i'm gonna miscarry they really couldn't give me any answers she was like not necessarily it's a different system and um yeah they just weren't really giving me any answers so they sent me home with um antibiotics for the uti and pain relief um Within like the next day, like I was in a lot of pain when I came home and I thought that I'm going to miscarry. Um, after taking the UTI antibiotics, the next morning I felt fine. Like yesterday I was up walking around, but all the pain was gone and I was like, this is like insane. Um, James's mum actually came to pick up Noah and take him last night and today, uh, which is really good. If I am going to miscarry, I really don't want him around. Um... Because I don't really, I have no experience in miscarriage and I don't know what it's going to be like. But the more and more I'm thinking about it, I'm sure it's going to be pretty awful. So I really don't want him to see me that way. Um, yeah, I'm just scared. I just don't know what's happening. No one's giving me answers and it's really frustrating and... I'd just rather know than be surprised that I'm going to miscarry. Like, I wish someone would tell me and they haven't really given me any answers. I mean, the good thing is the pain is gone and that maybe that wasn't the baby and it was just the UTI, which is really good. But on my paperwork from the hospital, that put, like, diagnosis pregnancy in unknown location. Like, what the hell is that? Like, they just, they know I'm pregnant they can't find this baby. It's not in my tubes, it's not in my uterus. Like, where... Where could it be? I just, it's really scary and um, of course we want it so bad and you just never think it's going to happen to you. So I'm kind of in a waiting game at the moment and um, my HCG is getting checked again on Monday and that will be a big indication I think. If the HCG hasn't moved that will be a week since or you know six days since my last test so if it hasn't gone up, I would say that I'm going to miscarry. Uh, uh, and if they have gone up, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they don't know where the baby is, so. Has it gone up at all, or? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's been over a week. Yeah. I'm going to miscarry.